bloop, bloop. For Lucy? Mm -hmm. Okay. That goes to for scraps. Oh. Oh, also, so this is where the kind of religious part comes in. Um, I'm not supposed to cut my hair. <laughs> and so luckily I did it for a good cause. Like, I'm going to donate my hair. Um, but not supposed to cut it. And so I have been getting my sides, uh, getting designs in them, getting them trimmed up and stuff. So I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to get an undercut for um, a special event. But after that, I'm not going to cut my hair at all anymore. And just let it all grow back out. Oh, I like how that looks. Like, my gosh. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Shout out to my barber, Brandon. Sorry, I'm not going to be a customer anymore, but I'm definitely going to send people to you. And big shout out to like everybody in Memphis, bro. Like so many, so many people in Memphis are like multi-talented. So. You'll be working with somebody, right? And then you find out they have. I don't know. Go get your tractor. You'll find out that they have their own small business. Tractor, or know. okay, or they do music or something. Did you poop? No. You're walking like it, and you stink. No. Okay. Oh, okay. But anyway. So yeah. Oh, you find out they do music or um, they model or something. And that might be common in other places, but I just, you know, I'm from Memphis and like it's just something I see a lot here. We're not, a lot of us aren't just traditional nine to five goers and that's it. It'll be like, I got my nine to five and I hustle on the weekends type thing. Ooh, look at that shine. Y'all can't see it, but oh, that shine. Maybe you can't see it. Oh, okay. Not the bad guy. The bad guy. Uh-oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh. Not the bad guy. The bad guy. Uh-oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh. That job was so funny. I'm not even sure if the video cut off, but if it did, what's up, Rain Accords? If it did not, yay, <laughs> we have one video. Uh, hopefully I finish before um, I run out of space. I should. I don't have that much left to go. What are you guys' routines? What do y'all do? And for people who are uh, in the spiritual community, um, what's your spiritual life like? I, I dedicate pretty much, like my self-care Sundays, that includes my spirituality too. So about three days a week to spirit, pretty much. Um, even though it is part of my daily routine in the mornings, I dedicate three times a day to educating myself on things specifically. Mm. 
and sometimes I'll fast. I'm actually doing a fast right now. So I'm on a um, smoking marijuana fast. Um, like I have the ability to eat edibles, but you know, edibles are a different type of high. Like when you smoke, it gets you like the instantaneous high, but that's the thing about it. It's like when you smoke, it defiles your temple. You're really not supposed to do it, but um, that is something that I still do enjoy doing. So I'm on a fast for the rest of 2020 for not smoking. So yeah. I'll do it this way. And that's the thing about fasting too, is like what are you willing to sacrifice for your dreams? Because <laughs> like this wasn't this wasn't one of my choices. The most had told me to go on this fast. Um it might like I don't know what the end result is gonna be because it might be a thing where you know I never smoke again. I don't know. But it could be a thing where, like, I do smoke again, but, like, it won't be as much of a habit as it was before. Is my hair brown right here? Are you, are you brown up here? What are you doing being brown? I'm trying to match NJ's hair. What? I guess. That's kind of dope if it is brown. All right. Whew. But yeah, I'm also gonna go on a vegan diet. I don't know when that's gonna be. That, cause I can't say, I can't say it's gonna be this year. That might be something I do um, next year, probably in the springtime when we get the garden and stuff started back up. Ooh, y'all. Um, so my mom uh, has like her family house, her and my aunt on the rights of the family house uh, where they grew up and their mom had a garden in the backyard and uh, my mom said it was cool for us to um, start the garden back up so that's what we're going to be doing um, come next spring super excited about it I'm stoked like we had a small garden here but we're renting this house and, um, and it's kind of small so even if we wanted to do something bigger, we'd have to ask like permission. We couldn't take it with us, um, you know, all this stuff. And it's not even that much space. It wouldn't even be worth it. But they have a whole space, that house over there. I might um, stay over there for a little while sometimes. Might vlog over there. I'm super excited about it. And by garden, I mean um, like fruits and vegetables type garden. I don't just mean like a flower garden. If you guys, I don't really, I really don't listen to Emily Choppa's music that much. I might start depending, like, because he's making spiritual music now. I don't listen to like his gangster rap music too much. But. The only song I know really is Camelot. The one that goes like, I ain't gonna say too much. Police, cause the niggas ain't gonna stop. Like, that song, I vibes with it. But, um, he's making like his spiritual music now. So, I'm gonna check that out for sure. I already like the samples he dropped. I'm like, yo, I, I, I could I get down. I could get down to some manifestation music, my boy. Um... But he's been, I follow his content. I'll follow like his YouTube channel, uh, Awaken Choppa. I follow him on Instagram. And so he's been talking about, um, he just did one donation. I forgot where he was. Was he in California? I think he was, um, I think he was in California. He was helping some people out, donating some food at the grocery store. He bought a bunch of food. I think it was like $3,700 worth of food. And he donated $2,500 to some kids. Uh, I forgot exactly what it was, but that's what I think I remember from the Instagram post. But um, 
He's from Memphis as well, and he's been talking to people, telling people about like owning land, starting your own garden, growing your own food. My hair is brown. Who am I, rogue? When did this happen? Now nah, my hair doesn't grow brown. <laughs> but that's interesting. I see it in the back a little bit. When did my hair become brown? What's going on? <laughs> this is all very new to me. This is very new. Okay. But, um, yeah. He's been talking to people. Well, not talking to people. He's been posting about growing his own food. In his garden at his house, I think it's awesome. The people in the comments of his videos on YouTube are amazing. They'll be like, other rappers, yeah, here's my chain, here's my women, here's my car, here's my money. And then, Annalie Choppa, here are my beautiful tomatoes. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> no, dude, I love it. I love it so much. And like, no one's even talking about that. Understand something, y'all. Doing beauty videos, makeup and hair videos, um, gaming videos, like live stream gaming. What else? Rappers. There's a few other things. Those are the wave. Like, those are really the wave. Like, if you want to not just build a community, but really talk about what you want to talk about, but like, in a... I don't know. In a way to really, really just influence people, do one of those things. Or all of them. I'm going to do a few of them. I'm not sure if, I'm, if I'd be a, a gamer, streamer. But I could definitely get down with... Because uh, I've already made some beauty videos where I'm talking about um, political things and how I feel about certain things. I can definitely do that more often. As long as you guys like it, of course. I don't, you know. It's not necessarily people pleasing. I just don't want my audience to feel like I'm not catering to what they want. Even though it is my channel and I can do whatever I want on it. It's like, I can uh, change some stuff up in how I do things. Or I can title things to where people know like hey this is a video you'd be interested in go ahead and click on it or no this is definitely not a video for you so don't click on it so yeah just let me know what y'all like but i think it's awesome that uh, people are waking up we're, we're going through something called the great awakening right now and um uh, while more people are becoming more conscious it's also people who um, are somewhat in denial and they would like to stay asleep so uh, but the thing is uh, by the end of this year no one will really have a choice but to wake up now so yeah it's like one of those things over the year the universe has been giving us a chance to all wake up at our own will by doing our own thing um, growing in our spirituality developing a prayer life you know, if you uh, follow the Bible, making sure you read your Bible, whatever holy text you read, um, yeah, doing all that stuff and making sure that, uh, you're right with God, pretty much. 2020 has really been a crazy year. <laughs> and that's not just talking about, like, the stuff that's going on, like, outside of my personal life because of course I had nothing to do with like the earthquakes going on. I had nothing to do with the murder hornets. I had nothing to do with COVID-19. But like in my personal life and in other people's personal lives, it's just been some crazy stuff to happen, man. Just crazy stuff. Okay. Cool. Y'all, my hair is so soft. Like, it's weird because it looks stiff. You'd expect it because when I did my hair the first time, it was really, really stiff. And it looked crunchy. And it was crunchy because I wasn't being serious when I straightened it. But now, 
even though it's still kind of stiff it's so soft i don't oh my gosh <laughs> oh yeah that last time i didn't wash my hair that was what it was yeah this is freshly cleaned hair with just a layer of uh oil and heat protector on there oh also I've been using the Hairfinity essential, not essential oils, botanical oils to grow my hair out. So I just use those on my scalp. I put some of those in my on my scalp before I uh, did my hair just now. I think I could do this whole piece in one time. Okay, there we go. I don't know how I'm going to style this because I do want to do some bangs, but I mean, we'll see. Do that little Karen swoop. You know, I know Karen gets a lot of hate, but uh, I feel like if Karen was a lot nicer, you know, people would compliment her hair instead of talking bad about her. <laughs> that Karen cut. Oh my gosh. I, I'm low-key thinking about naming that the video. Oh, This video is going to end really soon, you guys. Hold on. Let me see if I can finish and then come back. Okay, guys. So, I finished straightening this. Um, now I'm just going to brush it out. But I'm about to run out of space. So, that's why I got to go ahead and end this video. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Um... I might post an update video on how I decide to style it. Uh, Cause right now, you know, I, I mean, I could wear this. This doesn't look bad. It just looks like I have short hair. This, is look, this looks so cute. I actually kind of like it. Let me see. Because I could wear this with a headband. This could be a look itself. Like I, I, I never saw myself wearing my hair like this. But this could do. <laughs> I don't know how anyone else feels about it, but I'm kind of digging this. Hold on one second. All right, so here's a headband with it. This is what the back looks like. So yeah, this is really interesting. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, definitely. I will have some updates on this. Um, I'll have some pictures on Instagram and stuff. So yeah, make sure you follow my Instagram at Real Talk with Ellie. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment if you have any thoughts on anything that I mentioned, your routines, um, how you just feel about 2020 in general, like all that type of stuff. I would really like to talk to you guys in the comments. But yeah, I will talk to you in the next one, Rainicorns. Bye bye. Be blessed and have a great day.